Yo, what's up, everyone? Toshi here. So I would normally have done a who care what character you should go for in terms of reroll and all that jazz in the beginning of the game when you start your journey on Kaisaro. But as you all know, we just had the recent balance patch, and if you saw the previous video, we went over every single character that got changes to the release of the game. And Hawkeye Star right now is currently a more balanced and fair game, I would say, across the board for every single character. So no longer am I going to recommend a specific character because that character may not even be a part of your playstyle. And what I mean by playstyle is you have to take into consideration every character plays different in this game. I want you to have as much enjoyment in the game as possible, so I think you should go for the characters that kind of suit your playstyle or look the best to you, I would say. And in this video, I will be giving you my plan for the release of the game, what characters I will be going for, and uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. So to kick it off here, we have the Departure Warp, which is the beginner banner, or I like to call it the newbie banner. You'll get this banner as soon as you load into the game for the first time on any account you make. It is a one-time free five-star at, well, not free, but a one-time five-star at half the pity it would take to get a five-star on the standard banner. And you have a one in seven chance of obtaining one of the characters that you want to obtain here. So for me, that would be Branya, right? So I would be rolling constantly to get Branya and hope that I get her at the pity. But if I didn't get her, then I would probably cry, first of all, and then make a new account. Um, but as you all know, I told myself I was going to skip this banner and I still stay true to that. I will be skipping this banner indefinitely, maybe until somewhere later down the line. But what you all what you really need to know from this banner is that every character here is a decent is a decent option now. Um, Clara probably is the worst character on this banner now, actually, believe it or not, because this character received some nerves that wasn't fair. But Himiko is a much better character. Weld is a much better character. Bailu is still an amazing character for a bunch of casual players. Branya is still a really solid character, even though she received some nerfs that Toshi was upset about. Jephar got amazing buffs. The character is pretty much better now as a shooter for your team. Yang Ching is still an amazing single target DPS, especially against ice element weakness enemies. So every character here has a very nice use. And no matter what character you get, the character will be useful some way, shape or form. Clara being the least useful until the late game, 100% though. But still, you should definitely go for whatever character you want on this banner. Every character here is a nice character to have on your account. So since Toshi is skipping the beginner banner, what does that mean? I will be rolling on the standard warp, which is the standard banner. Kind of like if you played Genshin Impact, you know that game has a standard banner which features characters like Diluc, Kashing, Mona, Tainari now, right? Deya in the future, and a bunch of 5-star weapons. My goal is to obtain Branya and at least another 5-star in the process. I want to get Branya. I also maybe want her Light Cone. Maybe I want Himiko. Maybe I want Himiko's Light Cone. All I really want is Branya and another 5-star. Once I get the extra 5-star, depending on the Light Cone it could be, it could be a 5-star Light Cone for a character that I don't have yet. So then it signifies me to go for that character in the future. Or I could get Branya's Light Cone with Branya, and that'd be even better. So what I'm trying to say here is that I will be spending all my rolls on this banner because there is more to pull on this banner. You can get more than one five star on the previous banner we went over, the beginner banner, but I chose to go on the standard warp because of one reason here. Now, I will mention you have a one in 14 chance of getting the five star you want from this banner, five star character. I say that because there is seven weapons for seven different characters, right? So you have a one in 14 chance. As soon as you hit the pity on this banner, whether it's before the soft pity, quote unquote, you get the five star, right? Early five star or five star at the pity. Then you have a 50% chance of that five star being a weapon, five star weapon, five star light code or a five star character. And then you have a one in seven chance of that five star weapon to be the weapon you're looking for. And then a one in seven chance of that five star character to be the character you were looking for. Hopefully that helps. So the reason why Old Man Toshi is going on the standard banner is because of this here. If a I know a lot of you will be new to Honkai Saro, and this was a feature added very recently. So this is your five-star selector summon. You get a five-star character at 300 pulls into the standard banner. Now, this will take a very long time for free-to-play to hit because um, it is 300 you know, rolls into the actual standard banner. If you played Genshin, you probably know how many rolls you've done in the standard banner, and it may not even be close to 300. But um, I chose to go on this here because I want to get the characters I want to play with sooner rather than later. Uh, the beginner banner never goes away. It's always there. Even if you don't summon on it, think of it like the Noel banner from Genshin Impact. 
even if you don't summon on that banner, that banner will be there indefinitely. So let's say you want to roll in it sometime in the future. Well, you can still roll in it, assuming you have the currency to roll in that banner. And so I will be doing the same here where I skip the beginner banner until some way, somewhere later down the line. Maybe I'm missing a couple characters from the beginner banner and I decide to roll in it to get the character I want to obtain from that five star selection. Um, but really, I just want to get one of these seven characters here. Now I'm aiming for Branya, Bailu, of course. Well, and now Himiko also. Uh, these three are the characters I'm not really looking forward to the most. Uh, reason being is because, I mean, Clara is now a worse character than she was before. And then Jetpart and Xiang Qing don't really, you know, suit the way I like to play, at least me personally. Uh, well, it is a very nice character now. I already like this character before his buffs. And then Himiko is a much better, you know, character, especially after her buffs and everything. So yeah, these four characters are definitely my priority. The top two for me will always still be Branya and Bailu for for sure, 100%. Uh, Bailu, because I won't have to worry about getting another five-star healer in the future. Um, and personally, I think Bailu is still an amazing character overall because of her revive. The revive allows you to play the game with the brain off. That's me. I have skill issues, so this is the perfect character for me. And Branya, because, you know, I, you all know I have a weird addiction to Branya, okay? So when you load into the game, you will see Seal's banner on launch. I personally am going to try to get this character uh, alongside Branya now whether that's in the rerolls or maybe it's, you know, I get the account that is extremely cracked and I try to roll in the banner going forward. Um, I hope to get this character. I really want to get this character. She is the best character in the game by far. She is the coolest character in the game by far. She's the most fun character to play in the game by far. And um, yeah, this character is a lot of enjoyment. I really do deeply enjoy that using this character, especially when I use her in the trial run in this game. Oh, they do have trial runs in Honkai Star like they do in Genshin Impact where you're able to test out and use the character before you go and roll on that banner. So I suggest you try out the character to see if you would even like how she plays, if you would even find her confusing for you know you your account and stuff like that. Definitely give the character a try because you can't go wrong with you know seeing if the character even fits your playstyle. But for me personally, I really do enjoy how the character works, how she functions, and how she plays. So I'll be looking to obtain her when I get my account on the release of the game, which is literally tomorrow at the time I'm recording this. So yeah, I definitely want to get Seal alongside Branya or Bailu, either or. And Jing Wong will have the second banner in rotation. So after Seal's banner goes away, Jing Wong will be coming up next. All you really need to know is that Jing Wong is an amazing five-star AoE DPS. He got buffs recently, just like Seal got buffs also. So they're both extremely strong now. Jing Wong is a really, really solid character. Um, if you wanted someone to go for it, I definitely suggest going for him. Now, a lot of people do like his design, and maybe the design fits how you like a character to look whenever you roll for their banners. And he, if he's a character you kind of find you know yourself attracted to, then definitely go for him. You can't go wrong. He's an amazing five-star character. Next up, we have Luacha. Now, this character did not have a reveal, quote unquote. Um, but you know, if you know, you know, he will have a banner coming up. You know, after Jing Wong, cough, cough. So if you wanted a five-star healer to go for that was not by Lu, that was a lot more older and mature and probably fit a, you know, maybe you're a Husbando player. I definitely do suggest this character. He is so much better now. They gave him a bunch of buffs. They gave him a huge rework. He is a very strong character now. I wouldn't be surprised if he's way better than by Lu is currently. This character is the character you definitely want to go for, especially if you are a fan of, you know, if you played Honkai Impact 3rd, you know exactly who I'm trying to talk about. And uh, yeah, this is the character for you. He is a really, really strong character now. So very quick TLDR. I will be rolling on the standard warp and try to obtain Branya or any other character in that 10 pool. And then I will try or 20 pools we get. We get like 30 pools in the beginning of the game. Uh, so I would try to get Branya or any other character alongside Branya. And depending on if I get one five star, like let's say I just get Branya, then I'm going to try to roll on the, the seal banner and try to get seal also in the couple pulls we get in the beginning of the game. But my goal is going to be trying to get Branya and seal on the same account. I know it's a very risky thing to do, and I know it probably will take a very long time. But I really deeply do want to play with those two characters because I think they have amazing synergy. It seems almost as if you're supposed to play those two characters together. And it just so happened that I find the two characters to be the most you know, enticing to me, at least from a five-star character perspective. So yeah, I will be rolling on this banner trying to get Branya. I will be skipping the beginner banner. I do recommend though, if you are a new player or if you're someone who's not familiar with, with you know, any turn-based games, I would say, 
or if you're not re-rolling, always go in this banner. This is the best banner, disputedly by far, the best value in terms of summons for the character you can get. You get a five star at half the pity it would take for you to get a five star on the standard banner. So do not skip this banner like me. I am an insane in the membrane idiot. Don't do it. Go for this banner and get a five star character here that you like and you will not regret it. And then I will use my five star selection in the future to probably go for one of three characters. Well, Himiko or Bailu, depending on what character I have from the standard banner pools. If I have Well and Himiko, then I will definitely get Bailu. If I have Bailu, Well and Himiko, then I will probably go for Clara. And if I have these characters, surprisingly, that could happen where I already have all four of these characters that I wanted, then I will probably go for Yang Qing because he is still a very solid single target DPS to use against ice element weakness enemies. And lastly, I will be going for this character once again because I deeply enjoy how she plays. Like, if you saw her character trailer, you definitely, you're feeling what I'm putting down right now, if that makes sense. No, you're picking up what I'm putting down right now. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, this made sense to you. You got something out of this. Uh, like I said before, I'm not here to really recommend what character you should go for. I think every character is balanced in this game so far, and I deeply do believe that you should go for whatever character suits your playstyle and your, you know, I would say what characters you kind of enjoy the most because first and foremost this is going to be a solo experience so you'll go into the game you'll be playing the game by yourself there's no pvp so there's no reason to actually follow a meta per se so that's why i suggest you go for the characters you want to play with the most because those characters will give you the most enjoyment in the game right and we're all here to play video games for fun so this is what i'm going to be doing on the launch of honkai star Rail, which is literally tomorrow at the time of recording this and uh, hopefully this made sense to you. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.